What's up YouTube and welcome back to Homebrew Subaru. In this episode, I'm gonna start putting the body back together. So what's up everyone? Uh, I have been a little anxious to get all the body panels and lighting and stuff onto the car to actually kind of see what it looks like. The door handles, when they were coming off, they left some of the hardware behind, so I'm gonna have to start there. And then I was thinking, well, before getting all the panels on, maybe I should just go ahead and polish the car and the rest of the actual silver paint and try and make it look a little better than it does. And then I won't have like buffing compound flying onto all the painted parts that I just did. So I think that's how this video is gonna go. I already have done the hardware on the door, so I'm gonna throw that clip right in here. And then I think we're gonna push right into some buffing. So the handles, I'm sure the same thing happens on most older Subarus. Uh, there's this kind of knurled brass fitting that's press fit into the actual handle and the bolt sticks through quite a bit and the end of it ends up rusting. So as you start to loosen the bolt, the rust makes its way into the brass fitting and then it actually breaks free of the handle and starts to spin with inside of it. So the idea here is you just keep on spinning the bolt from the inside and you start pulling out on the handle and the brass fitting will start to pull out of the handle and then you get the handle popped off. The same was actually on the front of this one as well. Now that I'm at this point, what I've been doing is I, I attach the vice grips to the other end here kind of on this little lip that's on the most inner inner side of the brass fitting. And then, uh, first of all, I'll tighten it back up and I've been spraying it. I've let them soak with uh, some penetrating fluid over the last couple days, but give them one good blast of penetrating fluid and then just work it, loosen it to the point that it gets, you know, quite a bit tight and try and get a little bit fast, tighten it back up and just work those threads back and forth and eventually they uh, they will pop out. There's no problem in getting them out. I've gotten three of them out on, like two on the other side and one on this side so far. All of them seized in place. So I figured before getting the panels on and like the door handles and like the trim and that kind of stuff, that I would just go ahead and start polishing the doors and roof and the rear bumper and Someone has taken some really good care of this paint. The front door just looks amazing after having it done. If I got a little bit more light on there, you could really see the depth of the paint just after a, a good buff. So I've gotten to the rear bumper and this is where you can see the worst of it. There's some scraping here that I'm probably not going to be able to get out, but I might be able to clean up some of this really light stuff here. And some more scraping here, and some scratches over here. A great big scuff in behind the license plate. So yeah, the rear bumper's in the worst conditions. Let's see what I can do with it. I've done a pretty good job over here, but you can still see some of those little uh, marks. They've obviously gone through the clear, getting it cleaned up enough. You can actually see these crack lines uh, which you could, couldn't really see very well before. Uh, but I got that scuff out of there. And a bunch of these scratches are gone. There's one deeper one there I couldn't get out. And obviously these gouges I'm not going to be able to get out. But the whole thing does look a lot better. So I'm just about finished. I'm on the last quarter of the roof. And you can see the amount of reflection that I have going on there. There, there's a couple little like specks and stuff over there just from uh, extra buffing compound splashing over that I haven't cleaned yet, but it's an amazing difference. Uh, one good example is right here. There's a scratch going right across the roof. It's very light, but I can just catch it with my fingernail and it went pretty far over. And as you can see, I've, I've got it completely buffed out over on that side. So. I'll just finish this last quarter and then kind of give you an idea of what you can actually do. Just slow and patient and 
low speed setting on the polisher. And I can just barely tell that that scratch was even there. Even the camera's having trouble focusing on the paint. Yeah, it looks great. And that does that. And since I still have all of the polishing equipment out, I've decided I would go ahead and do all the lights. Uh, they need a good cleaning first of all, but uh, the headlights have been done before. They just uh, yellowed up quite a bit. You can see the color of them. They're still in okay shape and I'm going to use them for now. Uh, the rears are off the 05 car. These are like more of the crystal style lights that you can look into. Uh, so they, they they will replace the the bug eye or the yeah the bug eye lights that are in the car now. I'm gonna clean these up and uh, just use my soapy solution to give them good cleaning and then go about buffing and see what they turn out like. I actually already have a video of these exact same lights getting this work done. But you can see it's been a couple years and I've brought that light almost right back to the way it should be. I mean, it doesn't look brand new, but considering this is what it looked like 10 minutes ago, it's an amazing difference. And there's no reason why, really, if someone was doing this type of work, that they shouldn't invest in an actual polisher. Uh, you can grab these on Amazon pretty cheap. I do recommend going and finding more local uh, some good quality pads and picking up some good quality compound and polishing stuff. As for the taillights, they are in a lot better shape than the headlights are, but you can see I have this light almost new looking. You can see the, the camera's reflection coming through there really nicely this one you can see it the hazing in the lens just doesn't make it have the same clarity that this one has it looks new now there is a few things i want to address with the handles coming apart they're not the easiest thing to do the little white plastic peg that kind of holds the handle on this side it uh it's very difficult to get out without destroying it i guess I've got all four of them out and back in without uh, breaking them all to pieces. The spring over on this side, getting this apart and back together. Going back together, you kind of have to load the spring as you're dropping all this in place. I would have set up a tripod and filmed it, but it was a little bit, uh, a little bit finicky. And doing the first one probably took me about, I don't know, probably over 10 minutes finally to, I got it. And figured out how I was going to get it together and then I was able to do the other ones in about the same time. These little fittings, I've cleaned them up. I've run an M6 thread chaser through them. The bolts are all cleaned up. They wind in by fingers very easily. But I'm still thinking I might put a little epoxy on the outside of the uh, knurl just so when it goes back down into place, there's a little extra confidence of staying in there. I'll also put a little anti-seize on the threads just to make sure they wind in nice and easy. And if they need to come back out in the future, they should be able to do so. Now I'm also using the door locks out of the 05 RS. So uh, I've used this honey goo to really just saturate everything, work the key and work them back and forth and just got them heavily coated on the inside to make sure that they're uh, gonna work for the rest of this car's life that I have it anyway. So yeah, I'm kind of ready to go all back together here. I've got some other hardware kind of uh, like the latch, the hood latch and some of the hardware for the front bumper all painted. And I just got a little paint on the ends of the uh, that horn bracket that I made and I'll get some of this stuff going on. I've got the, uh, the trim that goes all the way along the top. The front door handles are a little bit more finicky just because of those door locks, but to get the rear bolt, you actually have to have the window kind of down in this position. And then to get the front bolt, you have to have it all the way up. So keep that in mind if you're gonna be playing around with those. They were done all in the same satin black as the uh, wiper arms. And then the 
trunk lid I've just taken off and discovered a little bit more rust on these risers. So I'm gonna take care of that next before putting the uh, other trunk lid on. While I wait for these to dry up, I'll just move up to the front and start putting the hood and the fenders on. As you can see, I've made some progress here. I've got the uh, front bumper installed, the fenders are installed, the hood is installed. I've got everything lined up really nicely. I've got the uh, front grill painted. I had the emblem off and painted it red. I really liked the, uh, it had a nice black outline to it, but to recreate that was just gonna be way too difficult. So I ended up respraying the whole thing red. Uh, put some new uh, stainless hardware on the back of that so it'll stop rusting a little bit. Uh, stainless hardware for the hood, stainless hardware for the fenders. Uh, this is what I ended up doing here. I've kind of got this backed up with like this a small washer and a larger washer to make sure it all attaches nice. Uh, I've had the headlights in place, but I think I'm going to buff them one more time after I kind of sat them down here. Having the black paint against the headlight, you can kind of see how much more yellow they still are. So I'm going to buff those one more time before putting those in. But I'm ready to start putting the front together. I'm going to I'm going to dig out the bumper and get those headlights done, fit the grill in, get the uh horns installed. And uh yeah, we're almost there. And there you have it. That's my Bug Eye WRX with a converted blob eye front end. All the parts are from that old red RS that I had, repainted black. It kind of turned out the way that I expected. Uh, you know, I would have liked a little cleaner finish, but uh, the appearance is kind of what I had in mind. I did get the headlights a lot uh, clearer. I did another buff job on those, and then I ended up hitting them with like three coats of that clear coat. So you can almost kind of see there's something on there but I'm kind of hoping that uh, it resists yellowing further and maybe even if I buff that clear coat later on they'll clear out even a little bit more. Uh, you can see a bunch of the little kind of wobble wobbles in the, in the hood and that's basically where I was sanding out chips and then looking at the right angles you can see a bunch of those sanding lines in the light I kind of wonder what it's going to look like in the sun and all I've really done is just wipe down all the dust on it so everything is going to need to be kind of washed up and detailed later on as I finish up. I did also get the resistors wired up for those front signal LEDs so they do flash at a normal rate now. Uh, I've got more resistors to do the rear at a later time. Uh, I did get the side skirt on. Both sides, I need a couple more clips, but I mean, they are on there. Uh, the little kind of bridges that are in behind holding these side clips, I ended up having to do some plastic welding to some of those just to make them reattach. Over half of them were broken, so now that's like, it's on there nice and solid. And just, I need a couple more of the bottom clips that were missing. Some poor lighting at the back of my garage, but I do have the trunk lid on. And I mean, you can see the sanding lines in the back of it as well. So nothing turned out perfect and I've kind of let go of everything that went on. It's not a big deal to me. This is just, you know, a commuter car that's going to have all the goodies that I own basically slammed into one car. So there's still a little bit more to do the rear. I want to put those, uh, the newer taillights in and then I have that rear valence to go on as well. And then I got to think about rebadging the trunk if that's what I really want to do. So managing to get all of that done really starts to move me forward. Uh, I realize, you know, it's it's a little bit, you know, fucked up looking, but I'm a little bit fucked up myself, so we kind of match pretty good. Uh, moving forward is basically three stages left that I can really think of. It's going to be brakes and suspension, the interior, and then just finalizing the exterior and cleaning up everything. 
so with that said, I'm pretty sure that the brakes and suspension will be next. That I'll start on the front of the car and do it, but I may end up just jacking up the back of the car, taking all the parts off, and then move, moving on to another video to put all the parts on. I haven't really decided that yet, but we're getting somewhere. If you like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here and you haven't already, please consider hitting that subscribe button for me. Leave your questions and comments further down below. And I'll see you in the next one.